Hey everyone, working on a Toro Briggs and Stratton motor, self-propelled. The wheels were froze up in the front, and that was, I think, the reason they were going to put it out to the road because the self-propelled basically didn't work. Um, well, we worked on getting the wheels freed up, which was mainly from leaving it outside rusting the axle it was just froze right up from corrosion and mowed with it a little bit and then the belt kept popping off so we're gonna put a new belt on it and i got this little tool here that we're gonna just crimp the gas line because we're gonna be tipping this on edge so i'm just gonna crimp the gas line so it keeps the gas from coming out of the tank and leaking all over because we're going to have it up on its side. So now, in order to get this cover off, most of them is one bolt on top or the Craftsman's that way, but not this Toro. They're underneath. We're going to take this mower, lift it on its end. something up under here board or something support it and you probably can't see but I will show you underneath where the four bolts are all right now two of them are located right here and here and they got this shroud that goes covers your belt and now you got to come up front here past the, the mower chamber and here's your self-propelled motor or gear and then you got a bolt there and a bolt over here on the back side but you can't see back up in there maybe you can see it but. okay we're going to work on taking them two out them four out two up front and two back here and it's a three eighths socket so we're gonna take that off real quick Okay, now with them bolts off in the front, it's basically all that holds this top part on. Now, as you can see, here's this belt, and it, it's pretty flimsy and kind of wore out. Now the problem is, is getting it, getting the belt out of here be simple enough just to cut it but we still got to get a new one on okay well it's a little bit of a hassle it's an s2 square point and one of these was pretty rusted so i had to spray it with wd and kind of dig it out with a little mini screwdriver to dig this opening out to get it to open up and then i finally got all got all four, three of them out so there's three of them and so then that's how you're going to get to your get your belt off right there if you can get this plate out of the way enough to get your belt off. And then we'll just have to flip the mower up on its side to get the other part off. So let's do that. So you kind of got to finagle it all the way one way, pull it around the blade and pull it back. Pretty simple. So that way you ain't got to take the blade off. And here's what the belt looks like. It's it's frayed and it's chewed up a little bit. And it's probably because these pulleys are these pulleys are really rusted. So 
Anyhow, now we need a new belt. Luckily, Tractor Supply, I believe, has them. Voila. And here you go. 22 inch Toro. That's what we have. And it seems to match up pretty close, I would say. This one's probably a little snugger, which, which will help. So, out with the old. In with the new. And we're going to thread it on the same way. And probably going to try to clean up these pulleys a little bit. I'm going to take a little wire wheel on a drill. Try to get some of these uh, pulleys cleaned up a little bit. And then we'll put this belt on. Alright, so I don't know if you can see, but I went around, put this drill inside this wedge of this groove of this pulley and wire wheeled it really good all the way around. So now that should keep it from riding, riding too high on the pulley. Might have been why it was jumping off. And then this thing will go right back down on here, like so. And we should be able to Put this part back together. We'll go ahead and slap our cover back on after we got this all assembled. And we'll have to turn it upside down to get to that. Okay, now we have to put this back on, which protects the belt from underneath. And of course, the open end goes to the pulley. And the two long bolts go in down here. There you go. Now we just need to do the two up front on the other side of the mower chamber. And that should complete it. These ones are kind of hard to get at and see, so spare you the, the time. Okay, so I got both of them tightened. Head tilt it way back. And you can get a little extension, 3-8 socket on them. So it should be, should be done. We'll have to see how it works. We'll give it a test run. So there you have it. So if you have a Toro, guess Tractor Supply carries the belts. And I think it was $26 for the belt. Probably can get it cheaper on Amazon, but this mower turned out to be pretty nice looking, all cleaned up, and it works great now with the new drive belt. But this mower cleaned up really nice. This is like a brand new mower. Many thanks to the person that was going to ditch this one. So hey everybody, Kim's Tectonic here. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. And I hope you, uh, this was helpful. And hey, if your mower quits working, it might not hurt. Maybe look into it a little bit. Might be able to fix it. So hey, like and subscribe. See you on the next one.